everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking about my career, how I started from a non-UI UX designer to becoming a UI UX designer. So without further ado, let's begin! This is my entire career journey. Because I took such a windy road to get here, I will have to explain my journey in three parts. Firstly, why did I decide that UI UX was right for me? Secondly, how I got there after deciding that that was it. And thirdly, figuring out exactly what type of UI UX it is that I wanted to do. Today, I will talk about the first bit. I first started my bachelor's in a business management course. I had a double degree, majoring in finance and psychology respectively. My first internship was as a corporate finance analyst in Unilever, which is the mother company of brands like Lipton, Ben & Jerry's, Dove, and so on. In all honesty, I thought it was a really good and fun company. Corporate finance is about forecasting, data analysis, and budgeting. While it is for some folks, it really just wasn't for me. In my second internship, I did derivative operations in JP Morgan. Since I interned in my third year, I actually got a full-time return offer. I eventually rejected it because again, while it was a great company, I really didn't enjoy banking and operations. At that point, I was in a real identity crisis. I went completely bonkers. Maybe because I'm an Enneagram type tree, so I really needed to feel like I'm creating some sort of value. I tried working at a cafe for three months, thinking I might just forgo my bachelor's and try to be a barista. I even contemplated going to fine arts. I scoured the internet for something new, and I found an ad for a one-year industrial placement somewhere far, far from home. I thought this would help me figure my shit out, so I took a leap of faith and accepted the job. Off I went to Cisco in the most amazing Silicon Valley. I started my stint as operational support for internal innovation programs, occasionally acting as interim manager for smaller programs like an in-house incubator. I was also pursuing art on the side, so I volunteered to do a promotional poster once. The team liked it so much, they started to involve me in decks, marketing materials, and more visuals. I realized I enjoyed doing creative work quite a bit and also had quite a flair for it. The real turning point came when they let me sit in and attend innovation workshops where they helped design thinking and lean startup immersives. That was when I decided I wanted to be part of the product team to create beautiful experiences for people. Putting two and two together, I realized that I might be suited for a role in UI UX. I had some artistic flair, I had designed blog templates in my teens and have basic self-taught Photoshop skills. I'm also now well-versed in design thinking theory after going through my team's workshop materials tons of times. I enjoy the creative process, the user research, hypothesizing, the testing and validation, the problem solving and strategizing. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on what it was like being a UI UX designer and realized that it was a job function that I can be good at, that I enjoy, and that is also paid decently. In other words, I found my ikigai. So you might be thinking now, okay, you told me you long a story, now what? Tune in for part 2 where I recount how I switch industries. And just so you remember what I look like. So thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again really really soon. Bye!